Jason Belmonte has been so good on television throughout his career, he just always seems to get the job done and has an excellent temperament. Nothing really seems to phase him and it's clearly why he's won 31 titles and 15 majors and you have to be able to perform under the lights. However, Belmonte has still had some bad moments on TV like almost every other PBA player. So in this video, we're going to look at what I consider to be his top five worst ever moments on TV. I've done a handful of these videos so far and I've done Chris Barnes, Walter Ray Williams Jr. and Randy Peterson at the moment and I'm working my way through all of your favorite PBA players and thank you to everyone who suggested players they'd like me to do a video on. I will get round to them all very soon I promise but let's crack on with today's video and start with number five. The 2013 Tournament of Champions. Jason Belmonte looking to become a back-to-back -back major champion. Working on a double. Again. 4-10. We've seen it before. Can't be satisfied with one. Oh, but he got it! Oh, he missed it on the first go-round, but got the kick! 10 split conversion for Jason Belmonte. Make it three. It's okay. I got this one. to back four. It's all right. I've ten it three splits. Times. We're good. Same lane. He misses one. We start with the 2013 Tournament of Champions and Belmonte was the number two seed and would face his old rival Sean Rash in the semi-final and he would defeat him to face the one seed Pete Webber. Pete Webber was looking for his 10th major and these two had met in the previous year during the semi-final of the infamous 2012 US Open aka who do you think you are? I am. Now, at the time, Belmonte only had one major to his name and was looking for a bit of revenge on Weber. And although he had an opening double, things did not go Belmonte's way. He left a 4 10 split in frame three, another 4 10 split in frame seven, although he did actually pick the second one up, but then another one in frame eight. And this would mean a 50 year old Pete Weber would win his 10th major to tie Earl Anthony's record. Although, of course, eventually, Belmonte would surpass both players in a few years to come. Number four, the 2009 Scorpion Championship. Coach all season so I don't get ahead of myself. Wow. Scruff of its neck and saying, this is mine. There's one. Yes, Man, he I left one, there. leaving the 10 pin Find a here in the championship match. Oh, trouble. Rut row. Oh! How did he avoid that one? Now we go right back to the start of Belmonte's career, where he'd been on tour for just one year and had won the 0809 Rookie of the Year. This was the 2009 Scorpion Championship and he was looking for his second title and would play Mike Devaney for the title. He did have a 16 pin lead but trouble would start in the 8th frame as he had the 3-6-10 to deal with and he knew he missed this straight off his hand and it just took out the 3 and the 6 for an open frame. Devaney doubled to put some pressure on but in uh, Belmonte's 10th frame he once again went through the nose and this time left the 3-6-9-10 and he missed it as he couldn't take out the nine and this meant Devaney would take the win and the title. Number three, the 2024 US Open. Uh oh. Well, waiting around, waiting around for his turn to bowl, waiting through a couple of games and Belmo with an uncharacteristic gaff. Well, he struggled with the approaches all week long, and he's missed a ton of spares this week. That sounded terrible. Unreal. The right lane is not working for Jason. 77, like beyond flat. Yeah, 
That's, that left lane had been his buddy, and even that's turned its back on him now. Now we fast forward to 2024 to the US Open, and Belmonte made the show as the two seed and was looking for his 16th major title. It was a show packed with the very best in the game, including Bill O'Neill, EJ Tackett, Carl Troop, and Anthony Simonson. But right from the get-go in the semi-final match, Belmonte just didn't look right, missing a single temp-in, which I don't think I've ever seen him do on television. And after this, he left a multitude of splits. And although this is the US Open, and it's an incredibly tough pattern, he just didn't look himself throughout the match. And this was just, I think, one of his worst performances on TV for quite some time. Number two, the 2019 PBA Players' Championship. And his friend okay. fails, hey, Belmo. That is some of the the worst luck I've ever seen, and it happens a lot, especially to the power players. Not very often, but it does happen to them. Did not get there. He likes it. Holy smokes. I'll alert you all when Randy starts breathing again because I think his heart stopped. I, I've never seen this before ever. Look at him though. I, I, I looked at him, not the ball. And then it sets, sets in because the messenger fell short of the 10. Next up is the 2019 Players' Championship, and this time we see Belmonte on the receiving end of two extremely bad breaks as he left two pocket 7-10s, and the second was in the 10th frame, which essentially assured Simonson of the title. Both players put in a fantastic performance, and Belmonte really made some great shots when it mattered, but to leave two pocket 7-10s was beyond unlucky, and if he hadn't left one in the 10th frame, we could have had a very different result. Belmonte was just so dominant in the majors around this time, so it seemed like the only way to stop him was these kind of bad breaks, but yet yeah, incredibly unfortunate. And um, like I said, both players played extremely well, but it could have easily gone either way. And number one, the 2024 USBC Masters. Way right of target. Are you kidding me? I should have stopped. Why didn't I? I, I can't have keep up. Why didn't I? With this pendulum of momentum, this is insane. Nope. Patrick Dombrowski, Patrick Dombrowski moves on. I did have quite a hard time deciding which moment should be number one. There was a few that kind of made cases. I did consider putting the two seven tens in the Players Championship in the one spot, but in the end. I decided to go with a recent telecast, the 2024 USBC Masters. Belmo was the three seed and once again looking to win his 16th major and his fifth USBC Masters title. He won his first match and then took on Patrick Dombrowski in the semi final match. It looked like Belmonte had done enough as he needed just a mark in the 10th frame to advance after Dombrowski opened in the 9th. Now, I think everyone would have put money on Belmonte to get a mark here, as he's been in this situation so many times and always seems to deliver a good shot when he needs to. But shockingly, he left the 8-10 and it would be an open frame. Now, you can hear Belmonte say that he should have stopped and apparently a fan in the stands dropped a pin, which obviously distracted Belmo. But even so, this 10th frame open is just not something we would have seen from Belmonte in the past. And I decided to put this at number one, mainly because of the magnitude of the event uh, and the situation. Yeah, he was going for his fifth USBC Masters title and his 16th major, and no disrespect to D. Ron Booker, but Belmonte would have been the overwhelming favorite in the title match. That's not to say Booker wouldn't have still won. It's just, it would have been a very different matchup. So that's two major shows in 2024 where Belmonte has had a real nightmare and time will tell whether he can bounce back and take home another major either at the World Series of Bowling 
or the upcoming tournament of champions and that is the end of this list that's going to do it for today i hope as always that you enjoyed this video there is a few uh, moments to pick from here so perhaps you think i've missed a couple out that should have made the list if so let me know in the comment section below i will eventually get around to doing a best of jason bermonte on tv videos so that will be coming very soon and as i mentioned i'm working my way through as many different pba players as i can so yeah that's going to do it for today and as always thank you bowling fans and see you all next time